Okay, I'm ready to talk about my RF microneedling experience. I think I'm over the PTSD of that whole thing. Let's talk about it. So as you know, I ended up getting the broadband light, which they call BBL, so it's not the butt, it's the face. And it's basically a broader light than the IPL. So it's not a laser, it's light therapy that really is supposed to target these spots and really give you a more even tone. But it also goes deep enough to really stimulate collagen production. They don't numb you for that. It's basically like rubber bands zapping on your face. But I've already done a video on that. We're here to talk about RF microneedling. So I was contemplating between the Morpheus 8 and microneedling and RF microneedling. I chose RF microneedling. So first they numb you for 45 minutes until you really are pretty numb. Then they bring out a unit that's about this big. It's this big mechanical looking thing. And it has a big metal square thing at the bottom that has probably about 16, 24, needles. And what they do is they take your entire face and they actually stamp your face. So you actually feel like it's a staple gun going at each section of your face. So it's like, pew, pew, pew. that's actually what's happening. I was not prepared for that. Every time it presses, it sends down this radio frequency pulse, shakes up the collagen. And it basically says, okay, we're going to shake things up under there so that your body will basically respond cure whatever is happening to the skin and produce a whole bunch of collagen. And that's the whole purpose of the procedure is to really develop collagen so that you can get a little bit more firming, a little bit more tightness. They did two passes. The first pass was probably a level three out of 10 pain because the numbness is there. But the second pass where they're basically, if they went up the first time, they're going across the second time. And then you can really start to feel the heat. So you really start to feel the heat penetrating through. So I started to get really nervous. When I did research on the Morpheus 8, my biggest fear in going the Morpheus 8 is that the needles were a lot bigger and there were a lot more um, aggressive stamping going on. And I had heard horror stories from a lot of plastic surgeons that I follow that you can actually melt the fat, which will eventually cause further sagging. And so there's a really high risk of something going really bad. So I was pretty convinced I was not going to do the Morpheus 8. And then I decided to settle in for a more traditional RF microneedling. So if you saw the swelling days one and two, I literally panicked, really thought something bad happened. So when I was telling you, don't worry about it, I was so scared. But by day five, the swelling had gone down and I can already feel a little bit of the benefits starting to come through and my, my skin's starting to feel a little bit thicker. End result, I won't do them both at the same time again. That was way too aggressive and I can't put myself through that again. And I'm only on day six, so swelling's gone, but I haven't really started to see the full results yet. So let's track it over the month and we'll decide whether or not we go at this again. So I'll be totally transparent with you guys, but that's where we are today. Any questions?